Okay, so this is programming challenge 17 and 18. I did 18, but you can choose to do 17 if you want to. 18 is not actually required. Anyway, it's random number guessing game. Create an application that generates a random number in a range of one through 100 and ask the user to guess what the number is. If the user guesses higher than the random number, program should display too high, try again. If the user guesses too low than the random number, the program should display too low. The program should loop until the user gets the right number. Okay. Then in programming challenge 18, it says programming challenge 18 is not required but check it out if you want to give it a try. So enhance the program you wrote for 17 to for 18. So keep a count of the number of guesses that the user makes. That's what I did. So when the user guesses the random number, the program should display the number of guesses. Okay, well, see what we got here. So we got, let's open our, our program. And random number guessing game. So anyway, this is the form that I made here. And I, I changed the background color to look. with the active caption color. So you just, to do that, you just go to the back color after you make the form. You can choose whatever color you want, but. So guess the random, that's a label, and you got an exit button, and you got your start button to start the game. So let's see what happened here. So anyway, this, this close, that's the exit button right there. And the first thing I did was declared some variables. So I wanted a counter variable to count for the, the loop statement. Then I wanted a number to hold the number. And then I needed a Boolean to, so if they guess it correct, it can change the value from false to true. And then the guess how many guesses the user entered. Then you randomize the number. So you use the the word randomize, two brackets around it. And then you take the number, which is an integer, you randomize the number times 100 plus one to make the random number for number. And then you put the correct, which is the Boolean up here, set it to false. Because once it's guessed correctly, it'll change over to being true. Then you set your counter to one. And then you do your do while loop. So we did it as less than 11. So we're going to give the 10 guesses to get the correct answer. So if the counter is 11, less than 11, and correct equals false, So that'll change over to true if this this any of these conditions is met. So the guess is the this is the input box to put your string in your guess. Input box, enter the number your guess between one and one hundred. So your attempt with a space and then a, there. And then you put your counter. So how many counts that you how many times you've guessed and then you change the guess from a from a string to an integer or value of guess if it equals the number then change correct over to true which would stop this so drop out of out of this completely you go down here now but if that's not true and the guess is incorrect then it's the same thing as here. 
if the guess is less than the number, then message box is too low. Visual basic explanation. Oh, oops, I'm gonna change that attempt. Attempt. So if it's too low, that will do that. Else, if it's too high, you'll get this one. Then you got to increment your counter. So you got to add one to your counter. And that loops around. And if it drop, once it drops out of the loop, it tells you. So if you guess the number here, it drops out and says, okay, message box message was and the number so if it's if you guess it correct then it drops out and it tells you the number so if you get if you get if you get in here then it'll give you 10 tries here guess the number and if you guess the number you'll get the message box so then that's that's it so let's go ahead and run it see what happens So we start inner number between one and 100. We'll start with 75. It's too low. Okay, we'll, we'll try 85. Okay, we'll try 95. Okay, we'll try 90. So it's probably 92. Ah, see, it was, it was 92. Cool, so that's it. That's programming challenge 518 guess the random numbers and display the how many guesses if you noticed up in the this section here when it was guessing it would tell you what attempt you were on so that's part of uh 518 all right thanks for watching hope that helps all right bye